Hello viewer, welcome to Artistry. My name is Taira Swanyoike and we are back in the workshop where we are explaining a few concepts on carpentry and joinery. Uh, but more of this is uh, on joinery because that is our, our topic for, for today. So uh, before me I have, or rather behind me, there are a number of projects that you can see. And these projects uh, have been made using different joints. We explained joints in another uh, session. So what you see here is a combination of so many joints done uh, to suit the, the project at hand. So I want us to do a project today and more of it is explaining on how to make one of these projects. So from right here, we have a bread box the bread box, we have dubbed it a bread box. It has the concept of a folding cover. So it can fold, it can, uh, it can run on a, on a curve, the, the lid. So it can fold and go to the back and, and then come the front. So that's a bread box. It uses the, the dovetail joints. We also use uh, uh, some housing joints. We screw the bottom. So the bottom is screwed and then we polish it up then right next uh, is a plate rack the plate rack is used to ferry or to carry plates you can use it uh, domestically to store your plates after washing could be used to either transport them to another place or even store them so it's a plate rack that is meant to securely uh, carry or store your plates in the kitchen. So thirdly there we have a magazine rack. And remember we have dubbed these names to these projects. It's not only that it can be used for magazines, you can use it for books, you can use it for other customized uh, stationery, just to make sure that you have safe storage for it, or you have some nice carriage also. So you can use it to carry, you can use it to store. So the bread, the, the, the magazine rack, has quite a combination of joints. It also has the shaping at the end. From this end, you can see the nice shape that we have give, given it. So you can as well adapt another shape for the end section. Uh, the members which are running this way and all the, the stripes going down, they are all hexagonal. So this, uh, we have incorporated these uh, shapes uh, to help us achieve the joints that we have done and also give it an angle at the bottom so this strip and this surface here they are not at right angles they are at a given angle uh, we also bevel our project at the ends here to make the to make the the ends user friendly we also screw the stands at the bottom to give it some inclination or rather from, uh, some, some height from the bottom so that we can keep it off from water and also from rough surfaces and so on and so on. So we dub it uh, the magazine rack used for carrying or storing magazines but you can as well use it for any other purpose that suits you uh, well depending on your use. So it's a simple and, uh, and a nice piece of joinery that you can use at home for magazines or any other purpose. So we have the stool. Stool, many of us have the knowledge. We all know of the stool. And it's a project at hand for today. We are going to see and to, to see the various parts of the, school, uh, of the stool, uh, the various stages of construction one by one. Uh, now we are not moving, uh, rushing, we shall do it bit by bit to explain the concepts, the joints, the, the size, uh, the shaping and everything else. So we have the stool. It's a common piece of joinery more available in most of our homes. As you all know, I know uh, right next to you or even you may be sitting on one. So we are going to see the construction of the stool. So finally here I have the uh, we, we, we've dubbed it the, the nursery school chair. So it's for the kids, for the young ones. We're used to the plastic, to the plastic 
uh, chairs that are bought from the supermarket, from your local stores. So you can also make one from wood. Uh, and the advantage of this, uh, it, 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 will, it will last longer and as well, it will be user friendly to the child because uh, you can customize it to any size, any shaping, any kind of customized design. Just come up with it and then explain to the joiner what you exactly want and to come out exactly the way it is. So it combines a number of joints as well. Uh, <clears throat> right from top here, we have the mortise and tenon stopped mortise and tenon joint since we can't see the end of it but it has a mortise and tenon joint there it also has a mortise and tenon joint here 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 and also on the sides most of these joints are stopped mortise and tenon that is to make sure that the joint is is, is tight and the joint will last longer it is a strong joint as well as uh, give it a decent finishing so we can as well use many other types of joints, but preferably uh, mortise and tenon joint comes out very well because you only see the pieces coming into each other and that's it. And then it will come up to about half uh, or up to two thirds of this thickness, then it will be stopped. The other one like so. And so from there we have a nice uh, piece of joinery. So the top also is a combination of a few strips which have been glued together. We talked about lamination. Lamination is the art of uh, uh, joining uh, pieces along the width uh, with a simple butt joint. The butt joint well glued it will give the piece of item a uh, very nice joint up here. So these are a number of strips uh, well joined together and then they have been sanded. Sanding is a part of finishing. Sanding and then uh, the polishing on top of it. So you can see how, how decent the chair will come out. So these are some of the projects that we have in our stores. And I would like us to just take one at random. Uh, I've chosen the stool to work on it, to see how, how, how it has been worked on, so that when the, when the joiner tells you the price next time, you will not complain and say, oh, I think that is expensive. You'll see the project, uh, the, the machines that could have been used, the labor work that has been put into it, and then uh, we see the fine piece of joinery. So that, to start with, is only um, an overview of what we are about to do. So we could take any one of these projects and just um, explode it and see what is inside and how is the construction pro pro process of the same. So for now, I would, I would, I would like us to choose the stool. So the stool is one of uh, is our project of the day. And so when we come back, we will see the the the, the starting of the of the of the of the of the project. How we start, how we we estimate the materials, how we start the preparation and then we move on and on and on. So this tool will be our project for the day. And before me, you can see a number of tools. Some are power, power tools. Power tools, we use power, either the battery or even the powered uh, cable. Or we may even, we also have to use the, 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 the hand tools. Hand tools, I have a number of them. And the power tools, I also have a number of them. So we will see which is the appropriate tool to use for what purpose and at what level. So we are going to explain all that in a series of steps uh, and then we will see the realization of this tool. And one other thing that I may add, uh, if you are making more projects, it's easier for the joiner than when you are making one item because the process is the same, only the duplication will be the factor there. So when we come back, we are going to start right from the, uh, product, uh, the, the process where we start estimating the, the materials, then we move uh, step by step. So stay tuned, uh, we'll be back after the break.